two-day ASCC conference gave an opportunity for APEC's network of researchers, practitioners and policy makers to inform and influence public policy for APEC member economies, especially surrounding the APEC 2018 theme of harnessing inclusive opportunities, embracing the digital future. Growth of inequality in income levels across the region, and it is a problem. Uh, I think stagnant in, uh, middle income, low income levels uh, have become a common factor in, uh, in global politics and in regional politics. Uh, and it's, uh, I think, one of the issues we were dis discussing with our colleague from the uh, Philippines was the, um, the way in which um, that should remain as, as a, primer, a priority issue for APEC. How do we deal with it? Um, how do we get more inclusive growth? And uh, it, it leads to, that leads to a lot of discussion about the trade agreements and the um, structural reforms that need to go on in the economies. Academics and scholars discussed collective experiences to ensure research makes a positive contribution to the region. And in a nod to the host country, Papua New Guinea, discussions were centered on a PNG context. Many, many of them live in rural areas, so like for a certain benefits, it's not widely felt right today and to after and when it leads up to the APEC. I mean, Papua New will not be, be I mean, experience these benefits, so the benefits will be felt uh, after hosting the APEC, and this is important for the, the policies and mechanisms in place, the connectivity and inclusiveness of uh, the government, this depends on our government. And I think that PNG can also learn a lot from that, uh, that uh, maybe policymakers can learn that we need to prioritize how technology is, you know, Trickle, uh, trickle down into the lower sectors of the economy and how it can benefit them to become more competitive in the region and subsequently uh, make PNG a more competitive economy. Leanne Girari, National MTV News.